Okay, I'm filming this outside or recording this outside, so there's going to be a little bit of background noise, some traffic noise off yonder. Um, but um, I did want to talk a little bit about what we can call a man purse. And I'm going to talk a little bit about EDC. And this is going to follow up on the uh, flashlight video I did as well. I did a uh, EDC flashlight review video reviewing a whole bunch of uh, potential EDC flashlight candidates. I'm going to go over what I, my final decisions were as far as the light that I actually carry all the time or the lights that I actually carry all the time that I EDC. But first let's dive right into the man purse here, which this man purse I do not carry with me all the time. I keep it in the car, I keep it nearby. Uh, if I'm hiking or something like that, I might have it on my person, but it's not necessarily hanging on my shoulder all of the time. But this Maxpedition Neat Freak Organizer, I think they call it, um, makes a great man purse. First of all, I think it's pretty cool looking. I think you'll all agree. Um, and there's some modifications here that I'll go into right away. Um, I have a couple of Maxpedition uh, sheaths here that are designed to, um, I think they're originally designed to carry magazines, uh, but you can put a multi-tool in here. It fits very nicely. Here's the uh, Leatherman, I think, Surge, rather large multi-tool and it fits right in there um, very nicely. Um, it's nice to have this on the outside of the pack, so it's very easy to gain entry to. And I'll tell you what I like about this Maxpedition sheath as compared to the Leatherman sheath here, which is very similar. If you put it in this sheath and you close the sheath up, you can actually take the tool out without opening up the sheath and the one that comes with it is even worse. This one, it comes out very easily. If I snap this, okay, comes right out of there. So these sheaths, this sheath is really worthless. The other one, okay, but the Maxpedition one, once it's down inside here, and this is closed, there's absolutely no way you can get it out of there. And with the Molly system, the way this is set up, it's very easy to attach it to this outside strap. Whereas these others, you'd have to tie them on some funky way and wouldn't work very well. So what I did was I bought two of these, put one on either side. And in this one, I have the extra bits and the bit extension and so forth for the Leatherman tool and some extra saw blades and so forth. Now you see these uh, green, pieces of twine on here or cord or whatever you might call it, these are reflective. So at night, if you put the bag down somewhere and you can't find it at the campsite or whatever, you just flash a flashlight around and these reflect the light very nicely. You'll notice as we go on that I use that cord quite often. Now, on the top of the bag here, I have, this is affixed to the handle, I have a Novatac Storm, which is a nice little light CR123 battery, nice clicky on the end, very nice durable flashlight, and that's very handy right there. And what's neat is that actually makes this handle a nice little grip handle. It actually adds to it and, and makes it so it's even better, I think. But again, that's very handy to have that right there. And if I'm carrying it over my shoulder, it doesn't get in the way at all, it just kind of sits there. And you can see here I also have a Kershaw leak on the outside of the pack that I can gain access to very easily, yet it's clipped in there good enough that it's not going to come out accidentally. On this pull string I have a small um, light here, nano light, which I talked about those in my other review, which just, you know, again, handy light on the outside of the pack at night. I have a Prion 2 light here and a nice uh, ballpoint pen. Then in here, I have uh, some paper towels, I have some, uh, a little notepad, um, just some little odds and ends in there. I'm not going to go through everything that's in this pack, but I'm going to give you an idea. Inside, this area here, over top of this uh, Expedition EDC organizer, there's some space here you can see in the top of the pack. Many times I put my Sony NEX 5 with the Carl Zeiss lens 
which is the lens that I'm using on the video camera right now, which is the NEX uh, BG10. Uh, but anyway, the, the NEX5 with the Zeiss lens fits in here perfectly. And I had a big debate on an NEX forum with somebody that was kind of bashing the NEX camera, saying they're too big and the lenses are too big. And I said, hey, they're still a lot smaller than a DSLR, than, than for example, my D700, or even a D7000 with a decent lens on it. You would never fit either one of those in this space right here, yet I can put my Sony in here very nicely. And this divider here has Velcro on the side, so it's a nice place for the camera to sit. And yet I still have all these other items on this side, and this pack here comes out and get this out of the way see if that's centered uh, there we go um, this opens up and I got a whole bunch of goodies in here so it's a nice way to separate out your items keep everything nice and organized so you can get the things again if you're at a campsite or something like that it's in the dark and all you don't want to fumble around for things you want to try to find what it is you're looking for so i've got some extra flashlight oops i just bumped my camera got some extra flashlight batteries in here a couple of extra flashlights i've got a little mini pry bar titanium mini pry bar i've got a bic lighter i've got some more notepads i've got a a um, survival kit in here that has uh like fishing hooks and, and bandages and, and different things like that. Um, it's, uh, it was a, a kit that I actually bought on Amazon. Um, who's that adventure guy? Uh, anyway, it's a, I think it's made by Gerber. Um, but you can put together your own kit. And then I've got a bunch of tweezers in here and I've got like nail cutters and again ballpoint pens and just a, a bunch of different things. This is a water filtration system for drinking water that might be a little bit marginal. But what's neat about these Maxpeditions is you can really load these things up. And these zippers, I mean, even though they're overstressed here, man, you can just zip that thing right up and, uh, and it doesn't bother, bother it at all to be overstuffed like that. So let's get this and let's put this back in here. This goes all the way in the bottom down in here. And what this does, and I saw this on another video, a gentleman that was doing the exact same thing, but he took this centerpiece out. I like leaving it in, actually, is what this does is this gives you this area above to put other items. And I put my Sony camera in there. Sometimes I might even put a little uh, uh, sandwich or two and, and maybe some energy bars or something if I'm going on a hike. So it gives you that free space. And again, these zippers, you can really pull and yank on these things, and you're not going to hurt them one bit. Um, it gives you that extra space. Move that up to, to store things in. And again, here's a top view look at how you access that space and what it looks like, that little cavern there. And again, my, my Sony camera fits right in there, and it closes up nicely. And so you can put, you can see my fist in there. You know, you can put some things in there so you have a little bit of room to work with. Of course, you don't have to fill your bag up quite as full as I've got this, but I'm just giving you some examples here. So that's the uh, man purse. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and then I'm going to show you a few other things. Oh, before I wrap up on the man purse, one other thing I want to show you that's kind of important. If you're hiking a long distance or something like that, you can use the strap, and then you can also strap it to your belt. See here on the back, you can strap it to your belt, which I like because that takes some weight off your shoulders and puts it on your belt and you can still keep some on the shoulder strap but it also keeps it from wiggling around and swinging around and, and, and so forth. So that's an option if you're going to be hiking some distance and you can also anchor it to a pack or, 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 or something else if you have a big, big backpack on you want to anchor it some other way. So, um, so now I'm going to talk about my own uh, EDC that I actually do carry every day. Okay, these are some 511 uh, tactical shorts, very comfortable. These are the nylon ones, but I've also got some that are 100% cotton, and those are very comfortable as well. And before I get on to the, the flashlight and some of the other things that I carry, uh, there were some finalists that, that were really close to being my, my pick. This is Sunway Man. Um, forget the model number of this, but it's titanium, and you turn it on and you can adjust with this ring the brightness of the flashlight. And it's got a nice clip that's reversible that you can put on your hat. Some people have complained about the quality of this clip. I think the clip is fine. And again, I can tie this reflective string on here 
I can um, use this as a lariat around my wrist, okay, to stabilize it. So there's, and of course I can find the flashlight if I drop it or something with one of my other lights, I can see that cord glowing. So that's a great flashlight. The problem is the diffusers that I have that, that came with my Olight and that also came with my Phoenix, neither one of them fit on this properly. And this is just a little bit bigger and heavier than the Olight. And so I'm gonna show you why I picked the Olight. The other, um, the Eagle Techs that I had were also close contenders. I love the Eagle Techs. This is a double A Eagle Tech. I have a couple that are CR123 batteries. Very well made titanium light. I like the interface on these. Like everything about them. I just like the Olight a little bit better and one of the reasons is the carry method. The holsters that come with these Eagle Techs are kind of bulky in my opinion. Uh, bulkier than they need to be for this size light. And so I'm going to get right into that right now. If you look here on my belt You'll notice that I have two um, holsters. I have one for, oops, I bumped the camera again. I have one for my uh, Swiss tool here, and that's a beautiful tool. It's almost like a piece of jewelry. I love this multi-tool. Of course, I also have the Leatherman. I also have a SOG. I have, I have them all. I carry this one. And one of the reasons I carry this is the holster, in relation to the size of the tool, the holster is very trim. Fits in there beautifully. The holster doesn't take up much room, and yet it's a big full-size multi-tool with full functionality. The holster, again, that came with, with the Leatherman is just big and hokey. And of course, the thing will slide out of here anyway. So to me, that's a factor, is the holster that comes with it. And I don't want to have to have a custom-made one. Okay, now, the light, the O-Light, it has this tiny little holster here that also threads through the belt, so it's not going to come off. It's not with some clip. It's not going to come off. But the light comes out nice and easily. And you notice how I've got this strap over here and locked down, so even if it came out, it couldn't go anywhere if this is locked down. But if I take the light out, this Olight is just a beautiful, beautiful flashlight. Beautiful titanium, polished titanium. Nice button on the end. And, and by the way, this button, you don't have to push as hard to activate this as you do with the Sunway Man. Sunway Man, you have to push much harder to get that, let me try to get in the middle here, to, to get that to activate. So that was another thing I decided. And again, this one is not as big around, not quite as big in diameter, not quite as heavy, but gives great light. This one only has a low, high, and a strobe. So only three choices, which is okay with me for my everyday carry light. That's fine. I don't need to have a lot of modes and so forth. So I'm sacrificing some modes, but I really like the carry aspect of this light. And if I'm going to carry it all the time, that's important. And this will tail stand as well. And it came with the two diffusers, the red and white diffuser that I can use if I need to use it as a camp light or whatever. So this is my choice for everyday carry, my primary everyday carry light. Put it back in here. <clears throat> and again, I just lock this down. Nothing is going anywhere. Um, the knife in here, and it's on my pants. It, leg gets easier to get out. This is just a uh, SOG Flash 2. Okay, half serrated. Very nice knife. Rides down in here. In here, I've just got some uh, paper towels, Kleenexes, Kleenex tissues. Um, Back in here, just a handkerchief, the fancy. In here, I believe, is um, my uh, scientist, Swiss Army knife. Very nice knife. You can't buy these anymore. They're very hard to find. This one's very thin is the advantage to it, yet it does have the straight out Phillips, which some of the thicker Swiss Army knives have, but this one was called the Scientist. It was sold many years ago, like in the mid 80s. Very rare. They didn't sell that many of them. This also has um, 10x loop. Okay. And then it's just got a blade. 
and then it's just got the um, bottle opener. Love this knife. I've been carrying it for 25 years at least. Let's put it in this back in this pocket. Now if I flip these over, and I'm getting a bunch of pollen on these pants because uh, we're outside here. But they're work pants, doesn't matter to me. In here, money and a money clip, some business cards, an old ticket, what is that? Car key, um, my ever-present reading glasses, can't go home without them. In this pocket, a four sevens. This is a two double A uh, flashlight. I forget the exact model. Quirk A double A squared, I guess. This is a twisty. This is a very thin, very small light for the amount of light that it puts out. Two double A's. It's almost like a pen light. That's why. That's why I carry this all the time. It's got more power than a pen light but it's almost the same size and it goes in this pocket very nicely. So let's see what else I've got in here. Bic Ultimate Pen. And some paracord. I've got an extra CR123 battery. That would go in the Olight. I've got a short measuring tape, which comes in handy more often than, than you would, would admit. So I'm put that back in here. All this stuff back in here. At the Bic Ultimate pin. Oh, that just goes in like that. That's right. And then this goes in. This kind of holds it in place. It's easier to do all of this when the pants are on. Okay. So, boom. That's it. Oh, in this pocket here, I've got my wallet and a comb. Okay. So, so that's, that's quite simply my everyday carry. Uh, it's not not complicated. Again, I do have um, the Maxpedition bag with all its goodies always nearby, either in the car or it, they also will fit in my Segway. I'll take a still picture of that and, and show you that. Um, so it, it's all easy to carry. Uh, this belt, I like a very stiff, relatively heavy belt. This is a crocodile belt that, that holds that heavy multi-tool, that Swiss multi-tool and the light very nicely. It distributes the weight across my waist that I don't really even notice those things are there. I don't like a, a lighter duty belt or some of the nylon belts that aren't very strong. Some of them are strong, but I like something that's pretty stiff and strong uh, to hold that. And I also, I don't have my, oh, I do have my iPhone here. Usually the iPhone is also on the belt, okay, like that. And I love this carrier for the iPhone. Um, see here, very easy to pop it in and out, yet it holds it very secure. No problem at all with that. Okay, and if I'm going into a, a, a dangerous area where I don't want this on the outside of my belt, exposed or whatever, I can always put it in one of the pockets. I can also put it in inside the Maxpedition bag if I need to. But generally, that's right on my belt. So, that's... Uh, that's it for my EDC. I hope you enjoyed, and we will catch you next time.